Welcome back, I'm Captain Stancom, and this is the latest installment of the definitive guide to every clone trooper that LEGO has ever made. And this is a subset of my Know Your Clone series here on YouTube, and I'll have a link to that playlist in the description below. And before we jump into the video, I'm just going to ask that you please consider subscribing and turning on your notifications, so that way you'll know the second my latest video drops. And that being said, let's jump into the video. So today's character is the original Phase 2 clone trooper that was released in 2005 to 2008, and he is first seen in the 7261 clone turbo tank from 2005. And then the next year, LEGO re-released that set without the light-up mace window, and then gave two of them instead. So again, that set number is 7261, just the second version, and that was in 2006. And then the final version of that clone trooper appears in 7655, the clone trooper's battle pack and there are two of them that appeared in that 2007 set. And what's interesting is that even though this character is based on Revenge of the Sith, he is barely in it. There are a lot of clone troopers in Revenge of the Sith, but they almost all have markings and don't just have plain white armor, as you see a lot of in episode two. And there are only two real scenes where you see clone troopers with just the white armor. And the first time that they appear is very briefly in the background, while Mace Windu, Obi-Wan, and Yoda are flying in a gunship talking about whether or not the prophecy is actually true. And then the only other time is probably really a mistake that was made in the film, and that is in the Jedi Temple you see dead white clone troopers laying around. So if you watch any other part of Order 66, there are clearly only 501st clone troopers that are attacking the Jedi Temple, so clearly this was just a graphic mistake where they accidentally forgot to include the 501st paint on these clone troopers. But nonetheless, these are the only two times that these clone troopers appear in episode three. However, they do appear also in video games as well as in the 2003 Clone Wars. And based on the trailer for Andor, it looks like they'll be in that as well. So the first thing we'll take a look at is the helmet, which this is the first time that this helmet is used. However, it is not unique either in printing or in the mold itself. And the printing is also seen on the first original Phase 2 Jet Trooper that's also seen in the Clone Turbo Tank, and then the mold is used in nine different Clone Troopers, including the two versions of the Clone Shock Troopers, the Star Corps Trooper, and the V-19 and ARC-170 pilots. Taking a look at the head, it is black, which was standard until 2008, and then it was later brought back as well in 2010 and 2011, and this specifically was used in 13 Clone Troopers. The torso is not unique. It was also used in that original Phase 2 Jet Trooper in the, from the Turbo Tank in 2005 and in 2006. And it also appeared on the Phase 1 Clone Trooper from 2002 to 2003, which I have made a video for. And if you want to see that video, there's a link in the description. And the torso, interestingly enough, appeared as a variant or mistake in the 4504 Millennium Falcon that was released in 2004 as the chest plate for the snow trooper rather than the torso that was supposed to be included. And this is because they had switched boxes from the original trilogy box to a newer blue box model. And in the switching, there was a mistake that was made in the torso print. And this torso is similar to two other torsos that have been made. One of those torsos is from newer episode two clone troopers. And then the other torso is from a very similar clone trooper from episode three that was made in 2010. And I will have a video coming out describing the differences between these three torsos and how to avoid mixing them up. Also in his torso are white arms, which are common among clone troopers and are on printed, which is standard. There are no clone troopers that have printed arms as of 2022. And the hands are black, which again is another very common feature of most clone troopers that have been made. And then finally the legs, which are black waistband with on printed white legs appear in 27 different clone troopers, so certainly not unique by any stretch of the imagination. He doesn't have any accessories, but his weapons do vary. So the first time that he was released in 2005 in the turbo tank, he actually didn't have a weapon, but only had a pair of binoculars. However, when they added the second clone trooper to the 2006 version of the turbo tank, they added a bullhorn blaster with a reddish orange stud attached to the front. And then in 2007, when the Clone Trooper was released in the Clone Trooper Battle Pack, it included a new version of Blaster that still continues until this day, the short version of the DC-15. And compared to a lot of other Clone Troopers, this Clone Trooper still stays 
pretty cheap. His current value on average for the last six months as of the summer 2022 is $6.50 to $9, depending on whether you buy him new or used. And there you have it, the original Phase 2 Clone Trooper that was made from 2005 to 2008. And that's where we'll leave it until the next installment of the definitive guide to every clone trooper that LEGO has ever made. And that next video will be the Jet Trooper that appears in the 2005 Clone Turbo Tank. So be sure to stay tuned for that video. Again, consider subscribing and turning on your notifications so you don't miss when that video drops. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And until next time, this is Captain Stancom signing out.